Data is the heartbeat of any organization. It's intellectual property, customer details, financial records, everything that underpins your operation. You may already encrypt data in transit and at rest, but the moment you or a partner actually need to process that data is often where the greatest vulnerabilities lie. So this is where homomorphic encryption enters the picture. Unlike traditional encryption methods, homomorphic encryption allows computations to happen on data while it remains encrypted. Inputs stay encrypted and outputs stay encrypted. You never need to decrypt the information, which can be a major advantage when you're working in public clouds or collaborating with external partners. In practice, this means you can sum financial figures from multiple departments, combine client data sets for machine learning, or even run entire AI models on sensitive data, all without ever revealing the raw information to a third party. There are different levels of how homomorphic encryption works. Partially homomorphic encryption only supports a single operation like addition. Somewhat homomorphic encryption allows more operations, but still places limits on how many times you can combine them. And then fully homomorphic encryption lets you run virtually any computation on encrypted data. The trade-off for that flexibility can be significant overhead, so it's worth noting that while it's incredibly powerful, it's also quite resource intensive. Organizations still need to carefully evaluate whether fully homomorphic encryption is practical for their specific workloads. So you might now wonder how this all compares to something called confidential computing that you may have heard of. Uh, rather than keeping data encrypted throughout the processing phase, confidential computing relies on special hardware enclaves, commonly referred to as trusted um, execution environments or TEEs. And these enclaves live deep at the processor level and create an isolated tamper resistant space where data can be decrypted and processed securely. Even if someone has elevated privileges in the operating system or hypervisor, they can't peer inside that enclave. Some might compare it to having a, a private vault embedded in the chip itself. And before you trust that vault, remote cryptographic attestation can verify the integrity of the hardware, firmware, and software running in the enclave. If anything appears off, you can refuse to hand over your encrypted data in the first place. So the biggest difference is that homomorphic encryption never decrypts the data, period, while confidential computing briefly decrypts it inside of a sealed environment. Each approach has its strengths, right? Homomorphic encryption is perfect for scenarios where data travels between multiple cloud services and needs to remain opaque end to end. So think of it for tasks like analyzing sensitive voting information or combining medical records across research institutions without exposing personal details. Confidential computing is more suited to situations that need real-time, fully decrypted operations in a protected space, such as high-speed financial transactions or advanced analytics, where uh, an immediate response is essential. Both technologies enhance data security in transit, at rest, and in use. And they also help to satisfy regulatory obligations like GDPR and HIPAA by addressing exposure risks head-on. But no solution is without its challenges. Homomorphic encryption can be costly and complex to implement, especially if you need the fully homomorphic variant for intricate operations. Confidential computing, on the other hand, relies on specialized hardware, a condition that might limit your choice of cloud vendors and lead to uh, concerns about potential lock-in or added expense. A strategic approach can smooth out these hurdles. Build a security-focused, knowledgeable team or partner with experts to navigate the complexities of implementation. Thorough cost-benefit analyses will show whether the performance trade-offs pay off for your use cases. Making sure that you plan for scale is equally important so that you aren't surprised by either hardware constraints or computational slowdowns once you move from a pilot phase to full production. With both homomorphic encryption and confidential computing in your toolkit, you can adopt a layered security model. Perhaps you keep certain data encrypted as it moves between multiple environments while also enabling specialized enclaves for real-time processing under strict isolation. Together, these technologies transform your overall security posture, allowing you to fully tap the cloud's potential uh, without putting your most precious data in harm's way. Of course, there's one more piece to the puzzle, zero trust architecture. And even with powerful encryption and secure enclaves, you still need the never trust, always verify mindset. In our next video, we'll examine how zero trust complements homomorphic encryption and confidential computing, completing a modern defense in depth strategy. So if you're ready to fortify your organization's data protection even further, I invite you to continue your journey and explore just how zero trust fits into this bigger picture.